Good evening, everyone. Hello. <laughs> Hello. If I could get everybody to, to quiet down just for a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Great. Um, my name is Adrian Bolzaki, and uh, I have the pleasure of being your MC for the evening today. And I joined the DMZ at the very beginning as um, the CEO of my company, ARB Labs. And I was one of the entrepreneurs among many in this room tonight that helped establish the DMZ as a, a destination for dazzling technologies and big ideas. Now, the connections and advice I've received through the DMZ have been essential to the development and success of my company. And Val Fox has been the leader and chief architect of the magic that is this place. So it's an honor to be able to celebrate Val here with you tonight. So as director of the DMZ since 2009, Val has helped 200 startups and nearly 1,000 innovators, including myself. Now, that's a monumental contribution to startups. Yes, please applaud. As a leader, Senate member, and agent of transformational growth and change for Ryerson, she has worked with hundreds of staff, zone leaders, and of course, the university executives. Val is a dear friend, colleague, and mentor to many, and I think everyone has a story to share or something wonderful to say about Val. But to help bring these stories to you tonight, we have a few special guests, but since so many people want to share their thoughts, the DMZ invited Val's colleagues to contribute to a short video that we're pleased to share with you tonight. So, we'll begin a video. Full video. Um, it shows you how, how many people's lives Val really has touched. And it's now my pleasure to introduce our first speaker, someone who embodies so much of what the DMZ is about, an innovator, a successful entrepreneur, and a leader in his domain. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Hossein Ranama, the co-founder and longtime director of innovation for the DMZ, to the podium to share some words about Val. Hossein? Thank you very much, Val. You have been a great colleague, a great partner. I can't believe that it has been more than five years uh, that we started to think about this uh, space together. I've had a privilege of working with Val over the past uh, six years. Before there was a DMZ, uh, we worked on um, intelligent edu education, iTunes U, Ryerson Mobile. And over the past six years, I learned a lot from her. She's a passionate entrepreneur. Uh, she's a doer. She's always that colleague that you can go and talk to her when there is a problem, whether it's a technical problem or a organizational problem, and she's always there to help you. Um, I can't believe that we start with just less than two startups, and now we have 200. Uh, I can't believe that it has been five years. And on behalf of uh, all the entrepreneurs, the DMZ community, and with the permission of President Levy, the Ryerson community, I want to thank you for being a great entrepreneur, a great partner, a great supporter of the university. And all of us will do our best to make sure that your legacy will stay and DMZ continues to grow and be a, a great part of uh, Ryerson University. So thanks a lot for that, and I'm looking forward to continue being in touch, and thanks again. Yeah. Thank you, Hossein. Um, so some of you may... Um, some of you might not know this, but um, if there's something that Val loves as much as the DMZ, it's good scotch. And <laughs> in fact, in my time, scotch became a fixture in the DMZ. I remember, uh, actually, we had a Scottish delegation come in, and uh, uh, I received a very unique uh, uh, business card. It was actually a small bottle of scotch um, that the delegate had made from scratch himself, and uh, so it was, it was authentic scotch, and um, had his name written on it, his contact information, 
And uh, I digress, but every time there was a, a major milestone in the life of a company, the bottle of scotch came out and a toast was made. Later, Val instituted Good Scotch Friday, where once a month, the whole DMZ would come together to toast to each other's success. More recently, the DMZ created Good Scotch Graduation to send off new alumni companies in style. Now, um, I found the business card that uh, the delegate gave me, and I knew this was a really special bottle of scotch, so I decided uh, what more you know, of a special day than to try this scotch to, uh, with you today. So in the spirit of good scotch graduation, I would ask those of you who are so inclined to get yourself a small glass of scotch or champagne and raise your glass and join me in a toast. And uh, I'm hoping, that, has the scotch been distributed? Um, I, I think I'm going to, I almost need some help trying to pop this open a little bit. Do you mind giving me a hand? Yeah, I'll hold the inexpensive thing. You hold the Okay. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> Thank you very much. So, um, please raise your glass. And here's to new ideas, new opportunities, and the courage to pursue them. To Val. Val. Cheers. Really, really good scotch. Mm -hmm. So, we're now going to take a short break from the speeches to give everyone an opportunity to charge their glasses, grab some food, or uh, sign uh, her DMZ bubble at the back of the room. Uh, please feel free to say thanks or to leave a comment on the board for Val to see, and we'll start back up in a few minutes. Thank you. The music has come down, and it's time for another speech. Can I get everyone's attention? Everybody having a wonderful time? Woo! That's right. <laughs> Terrific. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor to now introduce Dr. Mohamed Lashami, Ryerson University's Provost and Vice President Academic, to say a few words. Dr. Lashami? Thanks, uh, Adrian. What is Val? <laughs> I would uh, start by saying, Val, your leadership has created one of the uh, most successful university incubators in the world. As we all know, uh, DMZ is ranked number one in Canada, number two in North America, and number five in uh, at the global level, the world. And the, and the credit uh, goes to Val. Of course, we are very happy and extremely proud of this achievement. But um, I want today to reflect on your impact as a leader in uh, our academic setting, because that's an area where I always try to see the connection of the work done in the DMZ to the academic programs and also the impact on our students. Um, I have interacted with many leaders, many great leaders here and elsewhere over the course of my uh, career. And one of your most remarkable traits is your ability to bring out uh, the best in others. And I have to commend you for that. Uh, participating in a zone is one of the most unique experiences that we can offer our students. And uh, I have to uh, reflect on that aspect because uh, in addition to all the success of having uh, 200 startups, a lot of innov innovators, but also sometimes something that we don't necessarily measure is the impact that we have on our students. 
students who are here or spend some time in DMZ or other zones without necessarily achieving that status or creating startups. And I would like to uh, congratulate you for, for, for that. Uh, over the past five years, you have interacted with hundreds and hundreds of students. Your strength as a leader has provided them with opportunities to grow not only in the DMZ, but in their lives. And I think that's the most important thing that we want to reflect on in terms of the experiences that we give to our students. And you all know that the first pillar or the first priority of our academic plan, uh, our time to lead, is to provide exceptional experiences to our students. And uh, students who are spending uh, time here, and I know some of them are spending hundreds of hours, uh, are all benefiting from this great experience. You uh, have helped them have the courage to test the waters. Many universities have no clue about how to give the opportunities for students to test the waters. Take their ideas to the next level and pivot them when it's necessary. You have also led your leadership to our academic colleagues whom have pursued the development of new zones. This is a great thing to have. It's not easy to do it, but you have uh, done that. And uh, we have now 10 zones, uh, Trierson, and this is a big achievement. Val, you are an intuitive uh, connector. You always find a way to connect the right people. And it, uh, I'm sure that uh, people who talked in the, in, uh, in the video has mentioned that. And then you stepped away and let the magic happen. And that's the magic of entrepreneurship and magic of uh, innovation at Ryerson. Val, uh, on behalf of all of us, I uh, want to thank you for your commitment to Ryerson in saying yes first and then figuring out how to do it. You are uh, an esteemed colleague, a mentor and leader, and for sure you will be missed uh, by all of us in DMZ, but we will find a way to uh, benefit from your expertise, from your leadership, and your collaboration. Thank you very much, Van. What an event so far. I, I can't believe there's an oyster bar. I'm actually quite amazed at that. Uh, thank you, Dr. Lachami. And next, I have the pleasure of introducing a man who to many in this room needs no introduction. Please welcome Sheldon Levy, Ryerson University's President and Vice Chancellor. Uh, first of all, if I knew there was an oyster bar, I would have been on that side of the room, uh, not this side of the room. So I uh, put together some notes so I would at least be able to capture uh, my thoughts rather than to try to do it off the cuff and then you leave and then you think, ah, I should have said something. But nonetheless, it will probably be true that I left things out. So uh, last week, many of us were uh, part of the convocations. Uh, the Chancellor and I, and I think the Chancellor probably had to leave. I'm not sure if the Chancellor's here, but he was here earlier. And we, and during that, we had 14 convocations. and. And we said uh, farewell to about 5,000 students, roughly. Um, and for some of them, uh, they were the graduate students, they were coming back, and it was a farewell. Uh, but really, if you ask at the end of the convocation speech, we didn't say farewell. We really, uh, in a sense, said, welcome to the new chapter of your life, but the Ryerson will always be your home, and it was not a farewell. So the notes I got today said uh, I should do a farewell speech. But it's uh, like the students who I would say, uh, see you soon, as opposed to uh, farewell. And as Val uh, moves from the DMZ, uh, I know that myself, Wendy, Val are going to be working just on something else. So I've decided that in the spirit of DMZ, uh, that uh, I don't, I'm going to break the rule. This has nothing to do with farewells, 
but rather than I'm going to put it a change of address. <laughs> so I don't want to discuss goodbyes at all, so that's not what I'm doing here. No goodbyes. What I think will be happening, and uh, the Prophet said it uh, had the same words as I do. It's quite interesting. We didn't collude at all, which is unusual. <laughs> uh, I think what Val is going to do is she's going to bring her magic to a new location. So, uh, and that was the, the words the Prophet used. So I put down, what is the magic? How would you define the magic? So here's my list of magic. That's not it. <laughs> okay, so number one is that the impossible becomes possible. Number two, that those that are apart come together. Number three, that doors are closed become open. Number four, where rules say no, they now say go for it. Number five, where a tear is met with a hug. Number six, where the smile brings smiles. Number seven, where imagination and dreaming flourish. Number eight, where imagination, oh, and where dreams become reality. Number nine, and where memories are made and last forever. And number 10, it's Val. <laughs> so when you bring all of those together as elements of who the person is, that's where the magic happens. We were in a meeting today or yesterday and we were discussing the DMZ, and, and Val, and I think I said it here, and it has absolutely nothing, absolutely nothing to do with you know C or you know C+. Plus or you, it has nothing at all to do. It has everything to do with a culture. So what the magic is, and the magic is extremely hard to do, is how to build a culture. And then the culture overtakes itself by having the flowers flourish. And I'll leave with a story because it was in the, the video, and some of you may have heard it. When the DMZ was uh, sort of now getting really rolling, and there was so much interest in other people wanting their zone, there was a point in time where Val and I were like, is it really a zone or is it not a zone? And, and back and forth, and we both came to the conclusion, and that was what was there, was that it didn't really matter. If it, would, if it was a flower, it was a zone. And the whole job of the culture was just to get rid of the weeds. And that was, the, the, that was there. So the person that put forward, who made the most beautiful bouquet for us, was Val. You could give a variety of people the credit for, uh, well, the president did this and the president did that. But the truth of it is that the culture was created by Val. And it is that culture that we have a joint responsibility to never let go. And so all of our, our responsibility is to remove the weeds. And anything that disturbs our culture must be removed because Val created the culture under which we share an obligation to continue forever, and she will bring that culture and that magic to a new location. So to Val, the only thing I could say is I love you. Thank you. Thank you, Sheldon. So, You've heard tonight from colleagues, entrepreneurs, and university leaders. This concludes the formal portion of tonight's event, and on behalf of the DMZ, I'd like to say two last thanks. Thanks to all of you for attending tonight to help send off Val in style, and of course, thank you, Val, for everything that you've done to make the DMZ what it is today. On behalf of all the entrepreneurs who have been through the DMZ, thank you for inspiring us to think big and push our ideas forward. We want Val. Yeah. We want Val. <laughs> <laughs> Val, you know what can't be overstated? The value of your leadership and guidance. <laughs> so, uh, wishing you all the very best. And as MC, my last official duty is to remind everyone here to sign Val's photo book. If you haven't had a chance to do so, uh, and ask Val to cut the cake. Uh, after the cake is cut, please uh, you know, eat some, stick around, and let's celebrate Val. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, Adrian. Well, 
we're not quite done yet. And in order to properly close this out, we have to hear what Val has to say. But before that happens, I'd like to invite Jacqueline and Tamar and Val, please, to come up. Uh, Val, please join me up here. And we'd like to present a small gift of thanks to you. Very, very small token of our appreciation. Uh, but over to you, Val. about my colors is that is that the, yeah that was it she goes what's my what's your favorite color and I said blue she goes oh that's that's wrong <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> so um, this is pretty overwhelming I have to tell you um, I love that you're all here I, I can't even tell you how much it fills my heart with joy and happiness and everyone I, I love all of you and I was thinking I wanted to kind of pull you all out and talk to every one of you and tell you how much you mean to me because I, I can't even start to tell you. But what's, what's weird about this is that I'm leaving because it's so gorgeous. It's so beautiful. It's an odd way to, want it to leave, but it's because all of you have made this a place that works. It's a community. This community is now going to continue to grow and grow and grow. We've all created together. We've created something that is beyond phenomenal. I, I, you know, I'm hearing that uh, Abdullah was telling me that he was uh, on a panel in Boston with uh, Harvard and MIT, and Harvard's telling him that DMZ rocks over anything that they've done. So how incredible is that? And we've all done this. All of you have done this in the last five years or so, and it, it's a phenomena. But with the, the phenomena is this, that every one of you came together to make it happen. Every one of you worked together very strong, listened to one another, worked together, collaborated together to make a, a, something just that much better. And what's interesting is that it's all of these different companies that are, are thriving and growing and, and, uh, and adding more to our economy, but also adding more to what Canada is. I think I'm prouder. Of, you know, I, originally I was an American, and <laughs> just, just saying, and, 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 uh, <laughs> and, and now I'm, I am still, I'm both, but I'm, I'm, I have to tell you, I'm more proud of my Canadian citizenship because Canada is a place where people collaborate. Canada is being known as a place to go to uh, make things happen and to do it in a way that everybody wins. I was going to talk to you. I was, I'm looking at my speech here. I'm saying nothing that's on here at all. <laughs> But, but uh, DMZ is really about belief. I do want to say this part about it, that DMZ is the belief in what you want to accomplish. It's a belief in what others are going to do to help you make that happen. It's a belief in your country to enable that to happen. It's a belief that we as a world need to work together. It's a belief that incubators are very, very important. Why is an incubator important? It's because it really is supporting these amazing people who are coming together to form companies that are much needed now in this digital world to make our world a better place. I believe, and this is why I am leaving actually, is because I want to take this model and spread it all over the world. And why you're going to see my face again and again and again is that I'm going to ask all of you to participate to enable all of us to work together to make that happen. Happen. One thing I also want to say, and this is about you, Sheldon, is that the reason that I'm here is because you believed in me. And I can tell you that that meant more to me than anything. You believed in me. We had no idea what we were doing, but you knew that I could pull this off. I didn't know, but you knew. And, and what's kind of cool is that it's that belief that I also had for all of you and you had in each other, and, and that is what's making us so strong. Oh, there's Brennan too. Hi, Brennan. <laughs> um, so just, to, I, I guess I'll leave it with that. I wanted to say, is Abdul here? There you are, Abdul. So I wanted to say that I believe in you, Abdul, also. And Abdul is going to be taking over as executive director. He's going to be absolutely awesome. He already is. This whole week, he kind of stepped in here. He just came back from Boston. He's had all of three days to kind of get the shit together and, and make stuff work. And, and now he's off to something else, and he's going to be back next week. 
He can pull this off because he believes in this. He believes in all of you, and I believe in him, and uh, I think this is just going to be incredible. So what's interesting is I'm going to be here a lot, but I'll probably be visiting from time to time just to see where things are going, and I know that in the next five years, this place is just going to go even that much bigger. So thank you so much. I love you all. I can't wait to give every one of you a big hug, and just this is wonderful. Thank you. As you can see, the cake is over there, so maybe we could all start moving over there. Val will be cutting the cake for everyone, and uh, enjoy the rest of the party. <laughs>